Hello. Today we'll be discussing how to add labels using ggplot2 to help make your graphs as self-explanatory as possible. Before we begin, I want to talk about the dataset that is used during this demo. The dataset being used is the City of Houston Harvey Damage Assessment Open Data. This data is a collection of damage assessment surveys that were completed by the Department of Neighborhood, the Department of Public Works and Engineering Floodplain Management Office, and the National Flood Insurance Program. In the examples below, I pulled the data for Houston, Texas census tracts, the total number of households in the area, and the median household income. I have also linked the Kegel datasets down below in the description. To start, I have created a new R notebook and set up the knit R statement. For this demo, we will be using the libraries DPLYR and ggplot2. Below these two libraries, I have assigned the data to the variable Houston. The first label we will add to our plot is the title label. To add a label to ggplot2, we will be using the labs function. The purpose of your plot title is to summarize your findings. Good titles avoid just describing what the plot is, for example, a scatter plot of engine displacements versus a fuel economy. Using the ggplot function, we need to get our data by calling our variable Houston and display the Texas census tracts on the x-axis and the total number of households in the area on the y-axis. Next, you need to assign the color to the median household income. To make the color stand out, I have added the scale color gradient. I have also added a ylim function to focus on where most of the data has been plotted on the graph. Below that, we add the labs functions and set title equal to paste the household's per census track in Houston, Texas. Once we run the code, you will see the title placed just above the graph. If you need to add more text without making the main title too long, you can add a subtitle and a caption. The subtitle adds additional details right below the title in smaller text, while a caption adds text to the bottom right of the graph. This is often used to describe the source of your data. For this graph, we will copy the code from above and add subtitle equals paste classified by the median household income and caption equals data from your URL. Once the code is run, you will see the added subtitle and caption. To add axis and legend titles, you will again copy the code from the last section and add that the x axis equals the total number of households, while the y axis equals the Houston, Texas census tracts, and the color, or legend, equals median household income. For the final label sample, I have used the mathematical equation example from the book R for Data Science by Hadley Wickham and Garrett Grohlmund. To start, set the tibble x equals run if 10 and y equals run if 10 to the data frame. The run if function generates random deviates. Then create the ggplot using the data frame x and y. Instead of using quotation marks for assigning the labels, we will use the function quote. The label for the x-axis is set to the sum of xi to the second power, where i is equal to 1. The y-axis is then set to the Greek symbol alpha plus beta plus the fraction delta over theta.
This concludes our demo on how to add labels using ggplot2 to help make your graphs as self-explanatory as possible.